Consider 251 observations from the March CPS database to investigate how earnings, so that becomes your Y variable, depend on gender, education and age. So earnings in this case is going to be your dependent variable, that's your Y variable. And we have three independent variables over here, gender, education and age. And the sample size that we are working with is 251. So the lowercase n, that is the notation for the sample size, this is equal to 251. And over here, they are giving us some information about the three independent variables that we have. Basically, they are telling us that the education independent variable is available in the form of three dummy variables. Okay, so we are taking the help of dummy variables to take into account the information on education. And with the age independent variable, we have also taken age square. Okay, so we have a quadratic term of age, right? And they have given us three models over here. And this is the output of these three models. In the question, we have to test whether the estimate of female, so female is this variable over here that you can see. This is one of your independent variables that is capturing gender. So if you notice from here, one of the independent variables that we have is gender. And gender is captured by this dummy variable female. They are asking us whether the estimate of female in regression number two. So they are not talking about regression number one. They are not talking about regression number three. They are talking about regression number two. So let's just cross these things so that there is no confusion. We have to focus on this and we have to focus on this. Okay. So we have to test whether the estimate of female in regression number two is significantly different from minus three. And then they are asking us for the T value and we have to choose the correct T value from here. Right. So basically we are doing the testing on the coefficient of female. So as you can see the notation that we have for the coefficient of female in this regression number two is beta three. So first of all, we are going to write the null hypothesis. The null hypothesis is going to be that beta three is equal to minus three. Note that we are testing that it is different from minus three. Okay, so in the null hypothesis, you're going to have equal to minus three. And in the alternative hypothesis, you will have beta three is not equal to minus three. Now, there is one mistake that you should definitely avoid. Whenever you're writing the null and the alternative, make sure you do not put a hat over here. Okay, so don't do it like this. You always write your null and the alternative on the parameter and beta three is your parameter. Beta three hat is not your parameter. Okay, so your null is going to be beta 3 is equal to minus 3. Alternative is going to be beta 3 is not equal to minus 3. Now we have to find the value of the t statistic. So what is the formula to find the value of the t statistic? So let me first write down the general formula. So to find the value of the t statistic, the general formula is you have to write the value of the estimator minus the value of parameter under the null hypothesis. So value of the parameter under the null hypothesis divided by the standard error of the estimator. So SE stands for standard error. Okay. Now, what is the parameter over here? Well, we are doing the testing on beta three. So the parameter that we are working with is actually beta three. So the parameter that we are working with is beta three. And if beta three is the parameter, then what is the estimator notation that we are going to have? Well, the estimator is going to be beta three hat. Now let's take a look at the T statistic formula. So what do we have over here? We have to first write value of the estimator. So the estimator is beta three hat. So what's the value of beta three hat? Well, it is this minus 3.817. That's the value of your estimator. So minus 3.817 minus value of the parameter under the null hypothesis. So the parameter is beta 3. What's the value of beta 3 under the null hypothesis? That's value is minus 3. So we write minus 3 over here divided by the standard error of the estimator. So that's your standard error of beta 3 had. Now, as you can see over here, it's mentioned over here that in the brackets, we have the standard errors. Okay, it's written over here. That means 1.295 is your standard error. So we can write 1.295 over here. So this is equal to minus 3.817 plus 3 divided by 
1.295. Now, when you solve this, you will get that this is equal to minus 0 0.63. Okay. Now, if you take a look at the options, there is no negative option over here. And the reason they have not given you any negative option, because if you take a look at the question, in the question, they are asking you for the absolute value. Okay. Right. And if your D value is minus 0 0.63, the absolute version of minus 0 0.63, the absolute version of this is just going to be 0 0.63. So the absolute value of the t-test statistic is equal to 0 0.63. That means the right answer is part number C.